Hello everybody, this is Out of the Box Unboxing and in today's episode I'm going to make a review, long run review about solar charger from Silvercrest available at Lidl and how long it is just take, on, take a look on the manufacturing date it's a February 2015 so five years because it's we are in the middle of uh, 2020 so after five years of let's say using it I can think I, I think I can share with you some uh, some fair thoughts about it so first of all uh, it's not uh, as efficient as it was later on I will um, uh, I will plug it in to a measuring um, uh, application so you will be able to see a charging current but basic features uh, I don't remember the capacity but I will uh, later on this put it into a description but input it's a 0.5 amps and output it's one amp so rather small uh, compared to the uh, nowadays chargers in nowadays uh, 2 amps uh, as a charging uh, current it's not a big deal the fast chargers are reaching uh, 9 volts and if I'm not mistaken 3 amps so it's rather uh, I would say a survival kit but someone could f think it's uh, good for some road trip or uh, as a I don't know if we are camping. Um, first of all, after five years, I'm not able to charge it more than 25 percentage. I was doing it on purpose. I was keeping it uh, outside in sunny days. Don't. Uh, it doesn't make uh, uh, difference. Is it outside uh, or not outside? But. Um, uh, in the direction of a sun um, for one day, two days or three days it will always be maximum 25 uh, percentage and by the way it's uh, the solar light is uh, showing because uh, actually there is a strong uh, uh, light from uh, for, for, for recording this video so it's actually charging on the on the spot so I think you are curious how it's behaving so I have prepared uh, application for such purposes so you have some details about my phone uh, capacity model and so on and so on and actually what is nice it's a current uh, consumption how many uh, current is consumed so let's plug it in let's give it a try and okay it's it's charging so it's uh, green but what is the current oh rather poor 100 milliamps 80 milliamps so rather nothing actually to be to be to be honest it's not uh, charging almost at all uh, as a let's say in some way support or maybe I mean maybe you could use it after such uh, with such efficiency uh, if you turn it on off I mean uh, smartphone and during the night leave it just to charge it but uh, the capacity maybe I'm uh, I don't I don't remember by heart it will be in the description but if we are talking about in as an original uh, capacity of thousand something milliamps so uh, you will not be able to get much out of it but it's it's nice to see how it's uh, performing after I mean five years of uh, of usage and now it's <laughs> even not charging at all so to be honest it's a it's a scrap right now but I was I was keeping it just uh, uh, just for this purpose, just to just to just to see because it was my curiosity. Uh, okay, we can see that the charging current it's uh, almost not existing. Uh, you you could think or you could be curious what is it? Mm, you can attach it here on the back 
and uh, stick it to, uh, to, a, to a window actually so this is the uh, the feature of this a feature um, it's 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 intended use to to stick it into a flat surface like a window uh, you can do it in your home or uh, for instance in your car and actually ah now we are reaching the the highest peak it was a uh, 400 milliamps 200 I'm just curious if I put it into a shadow now it doesn't change a thing it's not affected by that by the way okay I will turn it off and actually I'm, I'm curious about your opinion uh, do you have such uh, power banks that are working such long uh, long time like like this one please share with me your comments and your and your experience and as always thank you for watching stay tuned and see you next time bye